Nice. Hey, good night, everybody. Good night, Claudia. Good night, Gabby. How are you, girls? Hi, Pretty good. good night. Good night. Good. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you back. There you go, Kaylee. Hey, Gabby, what a beautiful color. I like your, I like your pronouns. You're That's back on your nice. bed, right? You're back on oh. bed. Yeah, you're back on a bed run. Hey, <laughs> that's amazing. I gotta took a shower, girls, because to be honest with you, it's really hot here. What about you? Where you live? Is it hot? Uh, uh, well, here in my in my house, uh -huh. uh, maybe, uh, it's running. Uh, um, maybe it's about to rain. <laughs> maybe it will run uh, rain soon. That's amazing. So you can feel like a fresh air coming, Sassy. Look at this. Oh, God, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I wish. But here, well, I had the elect electric, electric fan yeah, here. Because to be honest with you, for me, it's really hot. But I think that could be, Sassy, that maybe it's about to rain. When, For example, when it's really hot at night, it rains a lot, right? When it's hot yeah. during the day. It rains a lot. How's your day going? So far, is it good? Yes, was yeah. very good. Very good. Uh, I was very busy because of the vacation. Uh huh. It's like all work accumulated. So uh, oh. wow. you have uh, vacation, Gabby. Yes, uh, really? I just worked on uh. Monday. Uh -huh. But then the rest of the week, I have free time. <gasps> That's amazing. Yeah, I I get to have a lot of a lot of time and rest. Mm hmm. Yes. That's good. And did you visit your parents and visit your bunnies by any chance? Yes. Hey. Actually, I got a tattoo. And guess got what? A it's a bunny. <laughs> oh, <Yes. laughs> okay. On your on your on your arm. It's a um, uh, um, leg, but what? it's like three oh, your centimeters. Legs. Ah, I got it, got it. And it's a bunny um, tattoo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, yeah, you you did that on uh, on vacation. What else did you do? Yeah. Um, I went to the beach. But uh -huh. I I couldn't like swim mm -hmm. or something because I got the two and it's like I don't have to. You don't have to it, get wet. It could get infected. Uh -huh. I don't know yes, if yes, it's right. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So I, I I couldn't, but I had a little fun. I also went to Las Naranjas. Oh really? Yeah, but yeah. just for lunch. That's for lunch. But it's really good. That place is really nice. I love the yeah. weather. I love it. It's really cool. The weather was amazing. Amazing. Because I, I stayed in Sonsonate because mm -hmm. my, my mother is from Sonsonate and all my aunts and my grandma is, is there. So we go on vacation, but it's really hot because mm -hmm. it's near to the beach. Ah, and the, yeah. The coast and all that. Oof. So uh, it's terrible. It's really? so hot weather as hell. Oh no! And I could say maybe like San Miguel and no kidding. Yeah, it's so too hot. So hot. Oh, no way. But my my aunt have a clinic. She and has a clinic. Yeah, and okay. in in the house because okay. it's a huge house. Yeah, I can so, imagine. Yeah. Just in, in that area, area has an um, air conditioner. Oh, so you're everybody a, here. Everybody. Yeah, hey, I, I'm not sick. I just want to say hi. <laughs> it's it's a, the, the hero. She's the hero. Us because all my aunties and all that is like um, acclimated to, to course, the weather. Of course, they live there, right? But for us, it's like being in a, you know, Oh my God. <laughs> yes, I can in the kitchen all the time. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Wow, but it's nice that you visit your relatives. 
and also yeah. your grandma. Ew. How old is your grandma? That's cool. Um, my grandma is like uh, with a lot of achaques and all this stuff. Yeah, with a lot of age <laughs> issues. Yeah, uh, yeah. is she like seventy yeah. or eighty? Eighties. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, I think he is um, eighty-six years 86. old. Ooh. But it's nice yeah. that you still have your grandma, right? Um, yeah, I miss my grandma. It's like the grumpy grandma. <laughs> the grumpy? No. Yeah, because my, my funny grandma and my cool grandma is... is From your dad's there. side. Yeah, and, and I live with, with her. And when I came to the house, it's like, oh, baby, you know, I, I bought a lot of sweet bread and you can eat Every everything I bought is for you, babe. You can take whatever you want. You know, all the things is for uh, sweet. But uh -huh. my my mother's <laughs> side, grandma is sure. like, yeah. oh, mm. how the hell got to and ate my whatever. And uh. it's like you have to be very um carefully with. Her, her things, yeah. Very angry. Ceci, really, what do you I'm think, not. Ceci? I think uh, Gabby uh, loves her gr um, mother's uh, side uh, grandma because she pampers her, right? Uh, her, pampers, pampers her. Her grandma. Her grandma, but for her uh, daddy's side. Ah. Uh, what do I, you think? Really, uh, well, I don't, I don't know what the difference between the uh that size or grandma's size no uh, she was she was talking about that she lives with her uh the grandma for her daddy's side and she's like really sweet grandma because she, when she arrives and she buy like a sweet bread or something like that she hey honey you can grab anything that you need anything that you need for for to eat to drink etc it doesn't matter for me however when she goes back to the grandma's uh from the mama's size in Cincinnati, you need to be careful with her stuff. Okay. Uh huh. So that she was telling me right now. So she was sharing that um, vacation with us. So uh, I think, hey, Gabby, you love your daddy's mother because she pampers you a lot, right? Yeah. Uh, uh huh. She has a lot of, uh, um, you know, um, like things <laughs> of, of old age people like uh, they want to do to do things uh how they Somebody used to do it do. Mm -hmm. uh, or yeah used to do but not always is the best way to do that or not yeah. always is the way you do that and yeah, the change, uh, the changes mm -hmm. it's difficult with all age people it's difficult but I could say that she is a person who you can take easily, not as my mom's side from. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, let's let's ask Ceci. Ceci, are you a grandma already or no? No. Ah. No, I don't have. <laughs> but what what do you think? What type of grandma you will be? Uh, sorry. What do you think? You what type of grandma you will be? Um, no idea no i don't idea <laughs> maybe when you have your grandson and your grandchildren <laughs> right maybe yeah. yeah that's nice I, I i wish i could have you know what i wish i could have my grandmas alive but they already passed away so i only have my grandpa from my mom's side uh, he's 93 years old and uh yes of course because i'm grown up i'm older than you got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but but he's kind of grumpy but he used to be grumpy when he was like a little bit younger but now that he's getting a little bit uh, that he's older he has changed his mood you know because now you can make him jokes and something like that even though he makes jokes and i was like is my grandpa making jokes like <gasps> okay am i dreaming or what no but hmm. yeah yeah but i love him you know what he's 93 but he looks like 70 and he doesn't have belly, like the real regular grandpa's belly. Yeah, no, I think my husband has a uh, more belly than him. <laughs> yeah, and I love him. I love my grandpa a lot. From 
from the bottom of my heart. That's the only one that I have. Um, I met uh, his mom with my grand grandmother. I met her. She passed away when she was like 101 years, I think. Really? Yeah. So I met her. And I also met one cousin of my uh, grandpa from my mom's side. And uh, she passed away when she was 103 years. Can you imagine? I was lucky, right? Because I could meet them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I could meet them. So I come from a longevity family. That's yes. cool. That's cool. <laughs> I met my grand from mother really that's but, nice but she wasn't as old she, she was like 95 mm. 95 and she passed away but i didn't have the chance to know, know, know her she better. better because mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes because uh i was a child I, oh yes you were younger mm -hmm. yeah and it's like i was in another world <laughs> Of course, you were a baby girl by then. Oh, yeah. I love grandmas. Yeah. I love I love grandpas. I love all people. You can learn a lot from them that you cannot imagine. I I I remember that I used to talk with my grandma a lot in the afternoon, drinking a cup of coffee, and even though she tells me the whole story all over again, but I always um, learn something from her, and I wish you could be alive. Hey guys, talking about wishes. Do you remember that yesterday we were talking about wishes, Gabby? Yeah, right, Ceci, you were here. No, you were not here, Ceci. What happened no, to you? Yes, yes, I was, I was here, but I was some problem with my computer. Oh, with the, in the uh, computer, oh, got it. Yeah, I only listen, listening to you uh -huh. uh, on my cell phone. <laughs> okay, okay, but, you, but I'm so glad that you, but at least you, you could make it, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy because like where is it? Also, Claudita Enriquez, I miss her. Ha <laughs> ha! She took one a mother one day of vacation. I said, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> did I'm you remember? So... Did yes. you remember that you say uh -huh. Claudia Rivera? And I, I Claudia Rivera. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I remember that. It's because I have too many Claudias here in this class. Come on. Yeah, I uh have. -huh. You see, you see, Claudia, Lise, Claudia, Cecilia, Claudia Enriquez. Goodness. Woof. I only have, and I have two Gavis, Gavi Sanchez and Gavi Velasquez. So <gasps> sometimes I make like little crazy things. Right? I'm dizzy, like, what, what am I talking about? That's why I love you to see you camera face to face so I can recognize you. <laughs> I'm so happy. But yesterday we were talking about wishes. Do you remember it? That uh, this is a word that is out of the box, doesn't follow the rules, the regular rules. And when you're talking about wishes, let's, let's do a recap. You will always use um, a verb in the past. I wish I could, I wish I had, I wish I went, etc. right? And do you remember guys that if you use a verb to be, we always gotta use where or weren't, never was. Doesn't matter which pronouns you're talking about. You can use I, he, she, it, we, you, they. And you will always use the bird to be where only with wish okay that is the that is one word that it doesn't follow the regular rules just that but with the rest of the um, words you will follow exactly the, the regular procedure of grammar and i remember that i left uh, a homework right gabby <laughs> Blanky, yeah. Dahlia is here. Woohoo! Marilyn, Gabby Santos. Oh, I love the color of your blouse, girl. Purple color. Yeah, I remember Prince song like purple rain, purple rain. I like that song, my heart. And I have Yanita here. I have Blanky. Oh my God. This is girls' night, guys. Well, but I better do not say anything, right? Because remember that every time that I say girls' night, some boy appear. <laughs> right like Jaime or Julio I don't know so I better do not say anything just in case somebody appears Veronica okay few only girls so far very Did good you, yes Claudia I I have a question I Go didn't I, I didn't uh, I don't know how to say I didn't what no I didn't you didn't do you didn't watch no, uh, do your best do your best 
No, I didn't in the class yesterday. Ah, you didn't. Uh, you didn't come to class. Yes, uh, I didn't come. Uh, so I have a question with the homework. In this case, that is a man in number seven. Mitch is too short to play basketball. Ah, uh huh. In this case, he wish he. Uh huh. He was. No, that's what I was telling you. Where? Where? Where, Where? Uh -huh. exactly? Only with uh, with this word in particular, with with a wish, is going to use where for oh. all the pronouns for all of them. Only with this one. That's what I was saying. That is, this is out of the box word. Doesn't follow the regular rules at all. Okay, thank you. You're more than welcome. Uh huh. Okay, alrighty. So Liz, I think is she's still sick, but that's okay, no problem. Hopefully she could feel much better. Hi, May. You see, I told you girls. I told you that I do not better say girls' night because I know a hundred percent that a, a, a man or a guy is going to appear in class, and all the time is Mr. Jaime or Julio. But Jaime appears or Mr. Velasco appears. So I better do not say anything. You know what, Jaime, all the time, most of the time we were just girls uh, at the beginning of the class. And I say, yeah, girls night. Blah, blah, blah. But then um, a man appears, in this case, it's you. So I like, ah. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. So that's why from <laughs> now on, I do not say girls night because I know 100% that you will appear. <laughs> somebody else <laughs> welcome, Jaime. yeah Marily. welcome Jaime. welcome to the jungle one more time not to the class hey Jaime, you're wearing a, a grave t-shirt right i went in a grave loss Ooh, that's good yeah give me to five <laughs> all righty hey so we were talking about wish yesterday and uh, I gave you guys uh, at home were seven sentences, but the first two, they're already there, right? So, so I help you. Ha. But what about um, number three? We were supposed to transform these ideas into uh, a sentence using wish. Is that right? All righty. So, okay. So let's read the first two, even though they're already there because I want you to practice a pronunciation of wish. Because even though uh, you use, um, if you can see guys, when you're talking about third person, like the cases of first and second uh, sentence, the wish, the wish part, you transform it into a third person, right? So you said wishes, wishes, yeah. wishes. Like, like, you know what? Like when the guy looked for a beautiful girl on the street and like, like that do you remember that i mean i don't know if you have done that no i don't sorry sorry that i put you on a sample but you're the only man <laughs> right now <laughs> okay so it's right so it's wishes right like that okay all right so we're gonna pronounce it okay the first one says diana can't wear contact lenses okay how you transform that idea into a wish sentence uh, Gabby Sanchez, can you please read it for me? That wish part on the first okay. sentence. She wishes she could wear contact lenses. Uh -huh. One more time because I want to hear the sh 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 her wishes. <laughs> she wishes she yeah. could wear contact lenses. Again, she wishes. She Again. wishes. 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 Uh-huh, correct. Wishes. Wishes. Uh-huh. She wishes. She, she wishes. Mm -mm. She wishes. <laughs> she wishes. Like that. She wishes. She wishes. Uh-huh. Like if you're about to give a throw a kiss, she wishes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a good example. It makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Claudia? Yeah, you know, but that that's, yeah. Sometimes maybe you're going to exaggerate it, Gabby, a little bit, and maybe you feel like embarrassed a little bit, <laughs> but that, you know what? That's the only way we can improve our, our pronunciation. Then it will, if you, when you get used to it, 
it's not necessary to exaggerate it, but at the first time, yeah. So the, okay. the wishes. Wishes. Uh -huh. wishes. But be careful because if you say wishes, you could say like nyaka nyaka nyaka, right? So you, you better be careful with the pronunciation. Okay, go ahead, Gabby. You can do it. She wishes. Wishes. She wishes. Wishes. Uh huh. Wishes. Like, uh huh. Again. She wishes. Uh huh. That's right. That's what I need. Uh huh. She wishes she could wear contact lenses. Very good. <laughs> you see. Woohoo! You did it, girl. Excellent job. Phew. <laughs> if not because of you, we'll be spending the whole hour of pronunciation there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's good. All righty. Cloudy, I know that you want to participate in <laughs> I knew what she said. Okay, the second sentence is Beth's class is so boring. How do you transform that into the wish sentence? She wishes mm -hmm. her class weren't so boring. Very good. Good job, girl. You see, <laughs> works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. Oh, this is gonna be easy because you know you see Vero, Vero says Claudia, congratulations. She's like clapping. Yeah. All right, the number three. My parents can't afford a new car. How you transform that into a wish sentence, Jaime? Number three? Yes. Um, my parents wishes they could afford a new car. Wishes or wishes? wishes. My, my parents, they are singular wish. or plural? Plural. Yeah. So you put wishes or you put wish? Wish. Uh -huh. wish. wish, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. The rest is great. Very good, Jaime. But only the wish part is, is wish, no wishes. Okay. Because Thank wishes you. is only will be for third person. Okay. Very good. So do me a favor. Can you please say the sentence one more time? My parents wish they could afford a new car. Very good. Fantastic. Uh, very good job, sir. All righty. Number four. Beto, number four. Dan can fit into his old jeans. He wishes. Huh? He wishes to fit into his Jeans. Very good. That means that Mr. Dan is a little bit fat, right? Or chubby. <laughs> you know, that, that, that had happened to you guys that you have a favorite jeans, but for some reason you have, uh, you wait a little bit more now and you cannot fit on them anymore. That, that had happened to you, Ceci, Gabby, Blanca. Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes, no, I didn't hear the answer. Ah, no, I know, no, but Berito said uh, he wishes can fit into his old jeans. That's what he said. That's what she said. Ah, okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. and can I say he wishes yes. he, could fit, he could fit? Yeah, you can do that as well. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay, number five. I can't remember my PIN number. Hey! That's not good, especially in an ATM, right? All right, Ceci, what do you think? How you transform that sentence? Okay, I wish I could remember my PI, PIN number. No, you can say PIN number. PIN number. PIN number. Okay. Yeah, PIN, PIN number. number. That, that had happens to you guys that you forgot your PIN number? Oops. Me, all the time. Yeah. All, all, all the time, Sassy? No yeah. way. So you need to write it down in a piece of paper, right? Or grab it with you inside the wallet. Imagine that you're going to the ATM and you forgot to pin them. <laughs> Oof, no. That would be like, Nick. But that had happened. That's it to everybody. So we had to go to the bank, right? And ask for the customer service department. <laughs> To help us change the pin number. Oh no. How many times that had happens to you guys if you got the pin number? How many times? Yes, Only one? one? Time for me. One, one time. What about you, Ceci? Ceci, you said all the time, right? All the time because oh my God. I have uh, a lot of uh, a lot form of money, that I, I need. Ah. No, no, no. Ah, I'm just kidding. Eh. <laughs> but Excuse you, me. you need a <laughs> 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 but in my in my case all the time i i don't remember oh, number 
but yeah. you have to but you have to write it down yes but uh, that is a difficult situation mm -hmm. because if uh, other for security person, reason right yes for security reason mm -hmm. yes. well if you if you can make a transactions online at home is different right yes mm -hmm. uh, online you need a put pin number too yes exactly and a username and a password right an atm also mm -hmm. yes an atm also oh <laughs> you, my god you need to remember all the time oh no you, you gotta find that i was a solution <laughs> <laughs> all right what about number six i think gabby sanchez is going to answer this question laura doesn't have any free time <laughs> How you transfer that into a wish sentence, Gabby Sanchez? Gabby Velasco, sorry. Gabby Sanchez, like, oh, already participate now. <laughs> Laura wishes mm -hmm. she had any free time. Uh huh. Very good. Uh, she had a free, any free time or she could have any free time. Either or is fine. All right. Very good. And last but not least, Blanqui. Would you like to try number seven? Uh, Mitch is too short to play basketball. He wishes he could be tall. Uh, he could be tall. Uh, that might be, but it, there's a better way to say it. Good try, Blanky. Guys, what is the verb there? Yeah. Is fair to be as wearing. Yeah. Is fair to be, exactly. Uh, yes, remember, guys, that we're going to talk in the past. We're going to use the verb to be, but doesn't matter which uh, pronoun we're going to use, always where we'll be where, no was. So you can say, Mitch, he wish he weren't too short, right? Or you can say, he were taller, right? It depends. Okay. To play basketball, either or. Mm -hmm. Very good try. Excellent job. Hey, hey guys. Sure. Yes. I have a question. In number, Go ahead, Claudia. In number six, mm -hmm. the answer was she wishes she had any free time or, or she had free time. She had any free time. She had mm -hmm. any free time. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job, guys. Congratulations. You broke my heart. Yay, very yeah. good. We're gonna continue practicing about that. And I'm gonna send you something guys, because we're going, we need to develop the, uh, the, the speaking skill. We, right now we have developed the writing because you did it at home, congratulations. But now guys, I also want your opinion about something. Bear with me for a moment, let me check. Aha, we're continuing with the wish part. Let me just a couple of minutes. I know I have it here. <laughs> yay, yay, and I found it. Yeah, the teacher is crazy sometimes, so you already get used to it, right? Now. That's good. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Yes, this is lovely. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna give you this is going to be individual, and then we're gonna make it in groups. But what I'm gonna give it to you guys is um different things. And the question will be, what do you wish were different about these things? And I'm gonna, I want you guys to write down your wishes and I'm gonna send it to you right now through the WhatsApp. And uh, I want you guys to do it individually, this part is gonna be just a couple of minutes. And then after you finish, we're gonna make it in groups. So I'm gonna put you in groups so you can talk to each other, but I, I let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share. There you go. I'm gonna open it. There you go. Okay. Did you guys receive it? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. So so we have a different things right now. We have a my bedroom, my school or job, my social life, my skills, my possessions, and my town. So guys, this is the things that I want you to talk about. You can think about them. You can write them down if you, if you wanted to. But I want you guys to think, what do you wish were different about your bedroom, your school, your job, your social life, your skills, your town, or your position? Think about it. I will give you a couple of minutes, no more than that. 
And then let's say, oh no, we'll be like three minutes because right now it's 827. So about 830, we're gonna come back together. Okay. And then we're gonna put you uh, in groups. So you can discuss that with your partners. All right. Okay, Jaime, what happened to you? I, he left. He said, I'm gonna be the only man, so I better go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, guys. So I will give you a couple of minutes and then I will come back, okay? Any question, I will be here. Do you understand the, the exercise? Yes? Ceci? In my uh -huh. case, I have some problems. What happened, Ceci? Uh, because uh, here say, what do you wish were different about these things? Write down your wishes. Uh huh. And I think is a uh, formulate uh, sentences related like uh, the other examples. Uh huh. It's exactly like the other example. But I want you to to let us know uh, what would be different about your bedroom. What would be different about your job, maybe? If you, mm. uh -huh, what would be different about your social life? Yeah? Okay. The things that I want you to talk about is the ones that I that, that are below. Okay. Uh-huh. So that's what I want. If, if you want to change something in your, in your social life, great. If not, that's okay. Okay. You can make a sentence, or if you want to, you can think about them. It's not necessary to write it down. Okay, one more minute and then we come back together. Okay, I think time is over. I think the, uh, the, the Lila, Blanquita, Santa Maria, and Jaime, I think they have problems right now with the Wi-Fi. They're trying to connect back. In the meantime, we're gonna work together. We have, um, we're not gonna make groups right now because I'm, I'm gonna wait for them. But in the meantime, we can share. We can share our, our things together. So let me ask you, um, Gabby Sanchez. <laughs> I knew it. Thank you so much for turning on your camera, Gabby. <laughs> uh, talking about Gabby, your bedroom. What do you wish you could be different about your bedroom? I wish my bedroom were bigger. Okay. What about your job or your school, Gabby Velasquez? Thank you, Gabby Sanchez. I wish my job were more interesting because uh, sometimes it's just like the same things all day. Uh huh. So it can be bored. Boring. Ooh. Really sorry to hear that. Yeah, maybe we'll have a different job. Who knows? Eh? Yeah. Very good. What about uh, your social life, uh, Ceci? Mm, I wish I would like to have incredible things in my social and my social Media? life. Life. Social life. All right. Yeah. That's good. What about your skills, uh, Claudia de Enriquez? Okay, uh, my skills. I wish I could run. You could run? Yes, I wish I could run. Ah, yeah. 
it, why you you cannot run? Did you have some problems in your legs, or what happened? Yes, with one of my legs because oh. yes, the eye was operated. I don't oh. know. Mm -hmm. Operate many years ago. Oh, so yes, I understand that. So you yeah. better, but you cannot run. Yes. No, I can run. But you I wish you can run. run very you fast, and but I have to to be carefully with my with my leg when I do exercise. Oh yes, of course. Especially yeah. when the one that has been operated. Ooh, yeah. I'm really sorry to hear that. But it doesn't hurt? No? No, no. Okay. That's, uh, that's good. Yes, yeah. that's much better. With yes. that, if it doesn't hurt, that's good, right? Yeah. What about guys who can answer this? What, what do you wish you could change with your possessions? Anybody volunteer? Possessions, any possessions. I wish I had a better computer. A better computer, all righty, very good. What about you, I, Marilyn? Yes, Cla Claudia, go ahead, sorry. I wish I had um, a great um, a beach, a beach place. Aha! Oh. <laughs> like a ranch? Or is, is oh, like a hat. Uh -huh, like a hat. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, that's great. What <laughs> about, yeah, me too. <laughs> what about you, Claudia Enriquez? Anything that you would like to, uh, do you wish to change about your possessions? Um, Could it be different? I don't know. No? No. No? All right. No. What about your town? Well, or maybe your your neighborhood at the end, right? Town, maybe that I wish my town were more safety. Ah, okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What about your town, guys? Your town, your neighborhood. Uh, I, I don't know. I, yes, Berito. I wish. I wish I could fix my neighborhood because the street is not bad. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's sometimes that could be a problem, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I understand that. I think many people have that same situation. Thank you, Beto. What about you, Elsie? Yeah. Or Marilyn? Monroe? Well, for me, I wish I I I came back. I you came back from where? Yeah, in the in, in when I was <laughs> 20s for to take better decisions <laughs> oh so you wish uh, you could you could come back from uh on time yes uh to change some things yes oh, okay i understand yeah i think everybody right guys <laughs> because some of yeah. us in our life we had made like uh, mistakes or had taken a bad decisions what about social life or bedroom eh, anita Beatriz Pineda. Uh, I I wish I could have a bigger bedroom with a walk-in closet. No kidding. Anything else? Uh, you would you wish you could have a jacuzzi? Oh. But any chance? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You can ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a jacuzzi, right? With a massage area, but any chance? Yes, and says it's nice. like that would be interesting that do you think yes. <laughs> uh -huh. that's a good idea that's a good idea you see you haven't think about it right Zazie? Uh -huh. <laughs> with a hat right with a hat nearby that is amazing all righty what about guys okay so that's good i i think guys you understood right how you can use wish so now from now on you will be able um, to continue using it but now, hey, Blanky's joining class. I think Blanky's working. We're just waiting for Jaime. I don't know, Jaime is still having the problems. So I'm gonna ask him to take, you, take his time because he's worried about that. Maybe where Jaime lives, maybe it's, it's about to rain. And sometimes that makes the, the Wi-Fi or the internet a little bit slowly, right guys? What do you think? Right. Yeah. I already it's a said. very common yeah. problem. Mm -hmm. And it depends what type of Wi-Fi. What is the um, uh, the people who's giving you the Wi-Fi, Claro, Tigo? So that depends, right? Okay, don't worry about that. 
All right, guys. So basically, we already finished with the wish talking. And now let me ask you something. We're going to work, guys, on something that we haven't worked so far, but it's really important to develop the, um, the reading skills. Yeah. People mm -hmm. said that reading is easy, peasy, queasy, but guess what? Sometimes it's not. So basically we need to develop that. And I have chosen an interesting topic bad habits what do you think about bad habits what well what can be considered a bad habit ah see a lot of a lot of tv <laughs> uh, uh, not really sleep no. late uh, ah yes uh-huh yeah for example I don't know if you have friends, guys, that you said, you should let Carmen to be here at the party. Even though the party starts at eight, let her, let her know to be at seven because she always comes late. late. So you let her know to be at seven and she's going to be at eight. So, so just to let her know, you know what happens there? Oh, I don't know if you have passed this situation, guys, or you know somebody who, for example, said, ah, I have time, I have plenty of time. I'm not gonna do this activity right now. I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow. And then tomorrow arrives and like, oh no, this is going to be only, this is going to be for next coming Friday. So I'm going to do it on a weekend. And then the time pass, it pass, it pass. And on Wednesday of the next week, two days before the day that you're supposed to, to do something, you start working on that situation. If that sounds familiar to you? Have you passed yes. that situation? Yes, or maybe when yeah. you were in school, right? Or when you were at a university? Or even though uh, I know a grown up people that even though they're already grown up, they still leave things for the last minute. Yes. Yeah. How is it called? Like a worker. In, in uh -huh. Exactly. So those are bad habits. Or for example, there is another one. Uh, let me let you know. Ceci. I had to let you know something, Sethi, but please okay. do not, do not share what I'm going to tell you with Gabby. Gabby, okay. yes, Gabby, she had made her new tattoo on her leg, okay. but there, her parent doesn't know, okay? So please, I know that you know them, but don't tell him because then she's going to be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly, Elsie. Gossip, but gossip is not just a uh, telling somebody else about other people's life. Because sometimes, guys, we we ask somebody about their life because we care. For example, if you're sick, right? How's it going? Everything. Gossip is more like, for example, you have you can tell somebody else about other people's situation, but it will affect the reputation of the people. Uh, because most of the time it is information that you haven't double checked that is true or false so basically guys this article that we're going to talk about they're going to talk about three things so but we're going to um to learn i'm going to teach you something guys this is going to be um the reading skill that we're going to develop is how can we find out without reading the whole article, how can we find out what is exactly the article is going to talk about? Well, I will, I'm going to give you something. I will, I will share with you the article, but then I'm going to let you know how can we find out that. Mm -hmm. Let me make this article a little bit smaller. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to just click on the one that I need. There you go. Okay. Tell me as long as you as soon as you receive it, okay? Okay, did you receive it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So guys, break those bad habits. 
Okay, that's the topic. Uh, let me share right now my screen with you and I'm, I'll, we're going to practice a pronunciation guide and the reading, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Can you see my screen, guys? Yep, can you? Yes. Okay, yes. cool, cool. So what's the topic for this article? Break those bad habits. Bad habits. Very good, break those bad habits. Okay. Guys, we're going to practice some reading skill, which is called a. Can you please, a Gabby Sanchez, read for me the, the blue square information? Gabby Sanchez. Skim the article. Mm -hmm. What uh -huh. three bad habits does the article mention? Uh, again, please. Read it again, that, that, that information. Mm -hmm. I want you to pronounce like in a question way. Do it again, please. Thank you. Okay, scheme the article. Mm -hmm. What three bad habits does the article mention? What three bad habits does the article mention? Do it again. Okay. What three bad habits does the article mention? Very good. Okay, guys, very good. So guys, in this case, we had talked about them and basically uh, the three bad habits divided in three sections, if you can see that, right? It, we have it like um, in red color. But guys, how can we do that? Because sometimes a scheme, guys, you know what a scheme it is? A scheme is like, you're not going to read the whole article. A scheme will be like a quick, a scheme is like, I'm, I'm asking you, what is exactly the three bad habits that this article is, is talking about? And I just want you to find it out like this. So how can you do it? Most of the time, you're going to find the resume of the article at the first part, at the first paragraph. So do me a favor, read the paragraph, the first one, only the, the first one, and let me know which are the three bad habits that we're gonna talk about. I will give you one minute, no more than that. Uh-huh, so do you finish? Yes. Okay, so tell me, which are the three bad habits that we're gonna talk about? Work until last minute, mm -hmm. uh, listen gossips, mm -hmm. and arrive late to events. To events. Events. Very good, exactly. Very good, guys. So one of the first tip for reading, guys, that will help you a lot, not only uh, to make a resume at the university or at work, but also when you're gonna do the TOEFL or the TOEIC, you have time. So you, we need to start developing these skills as well. So the first paragraph, guys, you will always find the resume of the article. And most of the time in the first or in the second sentence of the first paragraph, you will have what is exactly they're gonna talk about. Okay, so very good guys, excellent job. So can we start uh, reading? Okay, very good. And who can help me read it? Uh, Claudia Enriquez, can you please be so kind to help me read the first paragraph? Okay. Some people leave work until the last minute. A lot of us like to spread of listen to, to gossip and other always arrive at event late. Events. Events late. Mm -hmm. These aren't as serious as some problems, but they are bad. But habits that can cause troubles, habits like these waste your time and is in some cases might even affect your relationships. Do you wish you could break your bad habits? 
Read this advice to end these habits forever. Very good. Thank you, Kali. So what do you think, guys? Do you think that those are considered bad habits? Are those yes. bad habits? Yeah? Okay. Let me ask you, do you still have some of them or you used to have some of them? Yes, don't I be, have Don't problems. be shy. Don't be shy, okay? No, I shy. have some problems. <laughs> you see? So, be, be, well, we're going to learn today. How can we like improve that? Okay, who can continue to help me read it? And uh, Elsie, can you please help me read it? There's always tomorrow. I want you to read for me the problem. Just the problem okay. part. Problem. Do you leave projects until the very last minute and then stay up all night to finish them? Mm, that's a really good question. What would be the solution? Gabby uh, Velasquez, please. People often put things off because they seem overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Try to divide the project into smaller steps. After you finish each task, reward yourself with a snack or a call to a friend. Call to a friend, eh? that's good, right? Okay. Especially if we have a lot of things to do, right? We are like, oh my God, where to start or how to start? Well, this is one solution. What do you think about this solution, guys? Do you think it's affordable? Is it a good idea? What do you think? Yes. Yes, yeah. I think it's a good idea. Good idea? Okay. Step Wait. by step. Yeah. Exactly. Like new kids on the block, remember? Step by step. <laughs> yes. Ooh, baby. Remember. Okay. All righty. Very good. Thank you so much. And uh, guess what I just heard? Uh, Claudia Cecilia, could you please read for me the problem part? Okay. Uh, do you think it's not nice to talk about other people? but do it anyway? Do you feel bad after you've done it? Mm -hmm. Gossip, right? When you talk about other people's life. Uh -uh. All right, what is the solution? Uh, Blanky, can you please read it for me? First, never listen to gossip. If someone tries to tell you a secret, just say, sorry. I'm not really interested. Then mm -hmm. think of some other news to offer about yourself. Very good. That's a good one, right, guys? Because there will always be people that love to talk about somebody else. All righty. Never on time. Uh, 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 Marilyn, could you please read for me the problem? Miss Marilyn Monroe. No, Marilyn's not here. What about Berito? Okay, Berito. Okay, never on time. Mm -hmm. Problem. Are you always late? Do you friends invite you to the events a lot of hours early? Okay, very good. What is the solution? Um, Gabby Sanchez. Thank you, Verito. Use the reminder function function in your phone. For example, if a movie starts at eight <laughs> and it takes you 20 minutes to get to the theater, you have to leave by uh, 7.40. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Put the event in your phone calendar and then set, set it to send you a reminder at 7.40. 30. Very good. So you see, guys, eh, that could happen, right? Because sometimes we're like, oops, we forgot to do things, right? Especially when we have a lot of things to do, right, Ceci? Like Ceci, that she's busy. So do you think that a solution, like a friendly reminder, now that we have a, a cell phones, right, we can put like alarms and something like that? Or there are some people that do not uh, prefer to use this one. They do have their own agenda. So anything that works fine for you, do it. Okay. okay, so guys, do you think this article is interesting? Yes, hmm? yes, it is. Yes, it's, yeah, it's really interesting. And yeah. we have learned a new uh, vocabulary at the same time. Basically, good advice, advice. Never said advises. Okay, if you want to say advice one, or if you want to say more than one, some advice but never pluralize the word advice. Don't say advices because it's wrong. 
Okay, there is some advice. So we have Thank some you. advice. You see, that is a brand new maybe. Okay, guys. So now that we have learned and that we have read together the article, I'm gonna send you three things. And I want you guys to tell me which of the three you consider that um, is more appropriate for the article that we have just read. Basically, what I'm gonna send it to you right now, it's um, three sentences and I want you guys to let me know which of the three describes better the article. I just sent it to you right now. Do you have it? Yep. Yes. So which of the three you think that is the best describes the article that we have just read? We are practicing reading skills right, right now. For, imagine that you are a reporter. Uh huh. Number one, number two, or number three? What do you think? The article starts with a description and then give advice. The article starts with a description and then gives facts. The articles gives the writer's opinion. What do you think? Which is the three? Of course, it will give the opinion, right? Mm -hmm. For me, the first. The first one, the first Berito. Okay, yeah. who's a, who's agree with Berito? Raise your hand. Me. Also, Gabby Sanchez. Right. What about you, Ceci, Claudia? What do you think? Me, teacher. Also, Blanky. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, I agree. Okay, yeah, definitely it is. Mm -hmm. All righty, very good. You see, we're putting in practice. And then guys, do me a favor. We're going to practice another writing skill, but this is going to be a, a little bit more difficult, guys, because um, mm, I have taken uh, some, well, some ideas, some of them are in the paragraph, is some of them are not. A, but I want you guys to think about it, which paragraph you consider that could belong to, okay? So I'm gonna write it right now, I will give it to you, yeah. A, the question is, where do these sentences belong? I want you guys to write it the number of the paragraph where each sentence could go. That means that it's not there, but if, if we want to put that idea, where can we put it? I have A, B, C, D, E, and F. So I want you guys to let me know which paragraph we're talking about. Or which part you think could go. We're doing like a reporter, guys, because sometimes they say, hey, you need to introduce this idea as well. So how, how can this give me that information in the last minute? So we need to learn that as well. This is another reading skill to develop. The first one, we can also ask a friend to come to your home before the event. Which paragraph do you think it could go? On which section, by the way? Gossip? In the last Never minute? On which one? Never on time. Never on time, exactly. So which part? And maybe uh, number six, uh, right? What do you think, guys? Mm -hmm. Let me share right now my screen with you. I think it could go in the uh -huh. second paragraph. There's always tomorrow in the solution. Because it says, ask a friend to come to your home before the event. Are we talking about leave the things at the last moment? Are we talking about gossip? Or are we talking about um, never on time? Never on time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So which paragraph will be? One, two, three, four, five, or six? Three. Okay. Six. Very good, guys. Letter B, ask your friend or oh, ask yourself, how would I feel if someone told my secrets? Which paragraph would you do it? Uh-huh. It's by I just hear. Uh-huh. Number four, right? Okay. Very good. Do you ever make up excuses to explain your unfinished work? Which paragraph? 
There's always Number two. Tomorrow. Number two. Excellent. Hello. What about this one? Are you ever so late that the people you're meeting decide to leave? Never on time. Never on time. Time. Yeah. You can also ask a friend to call you to ask about your progress. Which one? To ask if about your problem. Or was tomorrow. Uh huh. Exactly. Tomorrow. Number one or number two? Two. Two. Number Very two. good. Number and two. the last one. Are people afraid to tell you things about themselves? Two. Number four. Number four, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good, guys. So you see, you see that that reading is a different. It's not always the same. Yeah. It's not always the same. For reading part, we need to develop a lot of skills. Okay. For example, they can ask you, "Hey, give me what is exactly the the article talking about, or give me the uh, the the writer's opinion." Or they can let you know, okay, I have this idea. Where do you think they can belong to? And guys, right now, we just make a sentences. But sometimes they will give you a complete paragraph. And you need to figure it out where you could like insert in the article. So it's, so it, reading is not as simple as it seems. We need to develop a lot of the skills in the reading part. Oh my goodness. You know what? Time went really fast. Hey, we have learned a lot, a lot of things today, right? Don't you? All righty, guys. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to talk about uh, one thing that I like. Hey, guys, let me let me ask you something. Just to have the, the bridge for tomorrow. Mm, have you ever tried exotic food? Any exotic food? No. No. no, 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 Salvador, if you have time to like travel to another country, maybe, but what about here? Here we have exotic food, right? Where was the one and I watched it, for example, right? What is the other one? Garrobo, right? Garrobo. 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 Yeah, right, Blackie, you see, huh? you're like, Ugh. yeah, have you ever tried exotic food? <gasps> that would be amazing. Tomorrow we're going to talk about that. Also, we're going to talk about uh, two bird chances that I love the most, but sometimes we ended up too confused. And maybe, guys, I'm, I'm going to ask you something. Um, start thinking about a recipe. About a recipe for, for a dish that you said, mm, this is yummy, right? Yeah. We're not going to use it tomorrow, but we're going to use it this week. Okay, so I don't know, maybe, maybe you can make a presentation, right? Don't you think? Oh, we can share food. <laughs> You're going to eat it alone. We cannot eat it, but don't worry. I will let you know what, what are my plans for future. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to say goodbye. So I wish you a great Thanks. night and enjoy your meal. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. Oh, Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.